أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وبه نستعين اللهم يسر ولا تعسر رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وأحل الوقدة من لساني يفقه قولي اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما Uh, in the previous, we started Faslun Fi Shafaqa Wa Nasiha Compassion and Advice Fi Shafaqa Wa Nasiha Compassion and Advice So that is where we started and uh, we reached a stage we were talking about when a person does evil do not pay back with evil but rather leave him with his own issues and that was our evidence regarding when at the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam made mention when a person does good, one good thing, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala reward him with uh, 10 rewards multiply by 100 and it goes on to 700 or above that. But when a person commits a sin, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala just write exactly what he does, which is one sin. And it is saying here that whatever a person does, if it's evil thing that they did, leave them with that thing and do not worry about them. Do not try to retaliate. Don't be a person who wants to retaliate. The, the Prophet Sallallahu was sitting with his companions and then one of the guys was angry with uh, Abu Bakr and then he started saying things about Abu Bakr. He was saying things about him. He was saying things about him and then Abu Bakr ignored him for some time. It reached a stage where it reached a stage where Abu Bakr could not take him, but take it anymore and then he decided to retaliate. Just one word was enough for the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to get up and leave. When the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam got up, Abu Bakr was not happy with the situation. He then got up to tell the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ya Rasulullah, you were here when this person was saying bad things about me. I only retaliated once and then you got up to leave. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told him that exactly when he was saying bad things to you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent an angel to come and reward you for your patience. So the angel was writing good deeds for you. He was writing good deeds for you until you decided to retaliate. When you retaliated, the angel decided to leave. And uh, of course, when such a thing happened, shaitan get the opportunity to be happy of what is going on. And I cannot sit down and see shaitan being happy. So those are what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told Abu Bakr. So in a nutshell, when we look at anything that someone will do to us in our life, it is very important to acknowledge there is nothing wrong with retaliating, but when we have patience, it's better for us. So we were talking about that, and then it came to a poem that was said, وَلَا تَجْزِي إِنسَانًا على سوء فعله سيكفيه ما فيه وما هو فاعله Do not pay back a person with what they do in terms of evil. Do not pay back evil act. When they do something bad to you, do not retaliate. سيكفيه ما فيه For whatever that person has done will be what will be for that person وما هو فاعله and also whatever they decided to do in terms of harm is going to get end up coming back to them. So you do not retaliate or spend your time and energy trying to get things the way or trying to sort things on your own way. Well, it's been said, Man arada an yurghim, an yurghim Whoever wants to Whoever wants to disgrace or whoever wants to let his enemy feel ashamed of himself 
or he wants his enemy to feel bad about what they are doing. There are some things that you need to do. And here it said, فَلْيُكَرِّرْ هَذَا الشِّعْرِ That person should repeat uh, this poem or that person should act upon uh, this poem. And then he made mention of another poem. وَأَنْشُدْتُ Someone also made a poem to me in this regard. And that is what إِذَا شِئْتَ أَنْ تَلْقَى عَدُوَّكْ رَاجِمًا وتقطعه غما وتحرقه غما فرم للعلا وازداد من علم إنه من ازداد علما زاد حاسده غما basically إذا شئت أن تلقى عدوك راغما if you want your enemy to be disgraced your enemy to feel bad and put him down, this is what you need to do, not to fight him, curse him, abuse him, but rather there is something that you need to do. Or if you want, or you want shame and sadness to kill him, or sadness to burn him, he should be in a state of difficulty, because of whatever he is having for you, you need to stick to this thing that we're going to talk about. Your enemy could not fight back and he will die out of shame and difficulty. What are these? Number one, farum lil'ula. Have intention of aiming high. Aim high. In what? Was that min al-ilmi? Aim high and keep studying to learn more and have more knowledge on what you have. Why is this so? إِنَّهُ مَنِ ازْدَادَ عِلْمًا زَادَ حَاسِدُهُ غَمَّ Anyone that is able to excel in knowledge, his enemy will keep going with the jealousy and keep harming themselves. So in reality, what we're trying to look at here is Instead of spending your time and energy fighting someone who does not like you, spend that energy and time to learn, to study, to earn more knowledge. For indeed, the knowledge that you get, your enemy cannot sleep. Alright? Why is it so? If we go back in the early stage of the book, it's saying, الْعِلْمُ زَيْنٌ لِأَهْلِهِ Knowledge by itself is a decoration for those who, who has it? So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed you with knowledge, there are some people who cannot stand it. So it's better for you to excel, aim high and keep studying to excel in knowledge. By doing that, you are rather punishing your enemies because jealousy will keep killing them and they cannot do anything about it. Because it's not a material thing that you're holding, they wish you lose it. Is something that Allah has blessed you, it is within you. And especially when you have the knowledge and act upon it. Now, now he's going to warn you again what not to do. Okay, so we're going to look at things that you can do and things that you shouldn't do. One of the things that you should also do is تَشْتَغِلْ بِمَصَالِحِ نَفْسِكَ Spend time in making yourself a better person. Spend your time and energy and make yourself a better person. Basically, making yourself a good person, religiously, knowledge, everything. You should try your best to make yourself always excel in that. Do that and that will make you better. By doing that, because the idea here is, لا بقهر أدوك do not spend time trying to fight back with your enemy. Make yourself a better person, not a way in which you want to fight somebody. فَإِذَا قُمْتَ بِصَالِحِ نَفْسِكَ Because when you decided to look after yourself and become a better person, تَدَمَّنَ ذَلِكَ قَحْرَ عَدُوكَ That by itself tend to be the punishment for your enemy. Alright? When you're trying to be better, you're trying to be good, you're trying to learn more, you're trying to study, you're trying to, you know, excel in being knowledgeable. 
that by itself is a punishment for your enemy. So spend time in trying to become a better person. وَإِيَّاكَ وَإِيَّاكَ وَالْمُعَادَةَ وَالْإِيَّاكَ وَالْمُعَادَةَ And also stay away from enmity. Do not try to hold grudges with people. فَإِنَّهَا تُفْضَحُكَ Because that will only expose you وَتُضِيعُ أَوْقَاتِكَ And also that will just waste your time. So holding enmity with people will only expose you and create um, uh, and also waste your time. And I remember this when there was a teacher who was trying to advise his students because of unnecessary issues that is going on among them. What he did was he requested that they should all bring tomatoes, fresh tomatoes to school. Everyone went and bought tomatoes and he said, no, I don't want it this way. Get a fresh one. But count the number of people that are your enemies, people that you hate. Make sure your tomato is according to that number. So those who are the public enemy, they came with big bags of tomato. And then he told them, what we need to do with this tomato is to keep it with you every day, morning, afternoon, evening. Do not go without this tomato. Keep it with you. A week passed. Tomatoes are getting rotten and then smelly and stuff like that. By the second week, everyone's tomato is gone. It started whenever they come around, you see some flies and they got tired of it. They said, look, what are we learning out of this punishment that you have? And the teacher then told them, that is exactly how you are carrying burden on you when you hate people. The hatred that you have for people, enmity that you have for people, that is the disease that you carry with you. That is the smelly action that you have with you. So it's the best thing that one can do is to push all those sort of hatred away. Instead of getting angry and hating people, use your time and energy to better yourself, especially when it comes to getting closer to your deen and getting closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَعَلَيْكَ بِالتَّحَمُّلِ and also, you should try to get that sort of skill of being able to endure and go through any hardship and difficulty. Try to build up that opportunity so that you can, in all your aspects, whatever challenges come to you, learn to give yourself that sort of hard skin that you can endure, whatever that comes to you. La siyama mina sufaha. Most especially when it comes to foolish people, people that are full, deal with them. Learn to accept and take whatever they say, not because you are happy with it. Let them say what they have to say and go. Do not spend time and energy arguing with such people. Because trying to uh, explain yourself will not work in any way or form. Qala Isa ibn Maryam salawatullahi Ala Nabiina wa alayhi Isa alayhi salam and our Prophet Isa alayhi salam said in 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 a saying, "Ihtamilu min al-safiha wahidan kay tarhabu ashara." He said that Isa alayhi salam is saying that try to hold on to or try to be able to hold on to endure with the one fool. By doing that, you will be rewarded 10 times, which means that for you to be able to go through that sort of stupidity or whatever character of behavior such a person will have, it will make you have more reward in terms of elevating you up to 10 different uh, positions. And also, another poem was said, and this time is the writer of the book, وَأُنْشِدْتُ لِبَعْضِهِمْ we also been said about something. So we're going to look at some of the odd advice that we can get also here. He said, بَلَوْتُ النَّاسِ قَرْنًا بَعْدَ قَرْنٍ فَلَمْ أَرَى غَيْرَ خِتَّالٍ وَقَالٍ بَلَوْتُ النَّاسِ I tested people. قَرْنًا بَعْدَ قَرْنٍ Time after time, which means centuries after century. We've tested people to see. And he said, فَلَمْ أَرَى غَيْرَ خَتَّالٍ 
وقالن I did not see except a strutting and arrogant which means that I saw only people being arrogant and saying things that comes out of their mouth or things that comes in their head so he's trying to let you know that anywhere you go people are only is that they are arrogant and when they are arrogant what comes out of their mouth they just say it so it's up to you such people if you want to give them attention or you want to just you want to keep going and he said again walam ara fi fil khutub ashad waqan wa as'aba min mu'adat ar i have not seen khutub khutba that the scholars are given ashad waqan things that are happen are happening in the khutba wa as'aba and things that are getting difficult min mu'adat ar except the hatred of people this is what is common in the khutbah and difficulties that we're facing today most often the lectures and the talks will base on this hatred that people have for one another so he is saying this is what i've witnessed and also wadaqtu mararatan aw mararat al ashya turran i have also tested the bitterness of everything that i can think of fama shay'un amarra min as-su'al there is nothing difficult or bitter like asking unnecessary questions so imagine when you are talking about east someone comes to change the topic all over by asking about west turn the attention of everything now it's up to you whether you're going to give such a person attention to waste your time and waste whatever you want to talk about or you just want to move on so those are the ideas he's trying to say in your life you will meet people with difficulties you will meet people who are always not on the right path not because they are disobeying allah but out of their ignorance they will be acting and doing some things so you need to learn to be able to endure being with such people and excel regardless of their attitude or behavior wa iyyaka an tadhunnu aw tadhunna sharran bil mu'minin fa innahu man sha'un lil adawa and also you are warned to stay away from thinking negative of a believer do not think negative for a believer because doing that is the source or the origin of enmity creating enmity if you start thinking negative about people or you see things and then you start to judge people according to your understanding rather than really looking at what you doing because say doing that it is not accepted la yahillu dhalika li qawlihi alayhi salatu wassalam that is not accepted if you look at from the saying of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam zannu bil mu'minin khayra always think positive for a believer So he's ta- trying to let you know do not judge people or quickly jump into conclusion when you see people have some certain characters or behavior for indeed sometimes that will be the source of creating hatred and enmity among you and such people wa inma yansha'u dhalika min khubth an-niyyah wa su'i as-sarira kama qala abu tayyib because doing that will only will only create the source of what khubuth khubuth niya like a filthy intention you always start to have bad intention for such people wasu is sarira and also you start to have bad secrets about that person and it's been said kama qala abu tayyib abu tayyib said in his poem اذا ساء فعل اذا ساء فعل المرء ساءت ذنونه if a person's um, intentions or if a, if a person's a person's thoughts become worse they are, or if a person's actions become worse it means that their source or their their ذن uh, um, their their ذن um, Suspicion. Suspicion is also 
worse. So if a person, you see, they start acting negative, it's because their suspicion is also negative. Okay? وَصَدَّقَ مَا يُعْتَادُهُ مِنْ تَوَاهُمْ And anything that comes in his mind, straight away he starts to, anything negative that comes in his mind, he will then affirm it about that person. So he does not care about what comes into his mind. He will always think such a person will do such a thing. So any negative thing that will come, illusion will lead him to start thinking that that person will do that. وَعَادَ مُحِبِّهِ أَوْ مُحِبَّيْهِ أَوْ مُحِبِّهِ بِقَوْلِ عَدَالَ And that will mean that his then beloved one will then tend to become his enemy. By doing that, you tend your beloved friends, family to become your enemies. وَأَصْبَحَ فِي اللَّيْلِ مِنَ الشَّكِ مُذْلِمِ And for that matter, what will happen is it will tend at night even in darkness, you will start to have fear. You don't know who is coming because of what you're thinking negative about people. So wherever you are, you feel like they're also going to think the same thing to you. So always remember, your mind is always the way you treat, treat people. That is why when you look at people who are always thinking positive, most often you will see that they are those that are being robbed. They are those that are being cheated. They are those that are being taken advantage of. Right? Because the noble mumin in Khaira, as a believer, if you believe yourself, you believe everyone. Alright? So if you have a gathering of uh, people that there is a discussion and they said, okay, this person, we're going to pass on all our contributions to him or to her to keep. In your mind, you start feeling, ho, 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 this guy is going to start shopping. Why? Because if you are given the money, this is what you're going to do. So straight away, you will be thinking about you to such a person. The same way, when you see a person, okay, his room or his house is next door to you. Every now and then, ladies are coming in and out, different colors, different shapes, different sizes. And then you start thinking, oh, this guy, I don't know what he's been using. Man, have you seen how many ladies are entering every single day? Why? Because you don't trust yourself, so you'll be thinking negative about someone else. All right? So it's always the same way all across the board. If you trust yourself at any given time when someone is mentioned, you will have the same thought and the same trust for such a person as well. But the moment you start thinking negative about people, then you should start checking yourself. There's a problem with your thoughts. All right? So it is very important to acknowledge that. And what on shit to and also there are some poems regarding this thing that was also said to me tanaha anil qabihi la turdih la turdihu wa man awlaytahu hasanan fazidhu satukfa min aduwika kull kaydin idha kada la aduwika fala takidhu so all this is just trying to tell you regarding do not always retaliate evil with evil. Tanha anil qabih. Step aside when there is qabih, evil act. Alright? Whenever there is evil act, you still step aside. La turidhu. Do not do the same. Do not do the same in terms of repaying back or retaliating. When someone does evil, you step aside. Okay? Woman awlaytuhu. Woman awlaytuhu. Hasan and Fazidhu. And the same thing applies to a person deserving good. What you should also do is to do good to him and add more. Satukfa min aduwika kulli kaidin. When you do that, your enemy, you will always be able to kill or block any plot that he have on you. Ida kaadal aduwun fala takid. If any enemy is plotting anything, you shouldn't do the same. Don't waste your time in trying to fight back. And that is exactly what we said regarding Sayyidina Abu Bakr, regarding the guy that said bad things about him in front of the Prophet Sallallahu We end up with one more uh, poem which was saying, وَأُنْشُدْتُ لِشَّيْخِ الْعَمِيدِ أَبِ الْفَتْحِ الْبُسْتِ رَحِمَهُ اللَّهِ He said, ذُلَّ عَقْلِ لَا يُسَلِّمْ مِنْ جَاهِلٍ A person that is with full wisdom 
a person that has full uh, uh, wisdom, the person who is really smart will not give himself in to someone who is ignorant. So that is what we said. Do not spend time and arguing with such people. Yes. Yesumuhu zulman wa'i'ana. When he does that, what will happen is he will then hurt him out of ignorant and also disregarding where he stands. Okay? It will degrade him when he spend time on people who don't know and he's trying to argue with them. فليحترم سلمى على حربه وليلتزم إنساتا إنساتا فليختر السلم السلمى على حربه You should always, a smart person should always select or choose peace from anger or fighting وليلتزم أو وليلزم إنساتا إنساتا which means that it should also Try the best to keep quiet when the person is quiet. Don't keep going, trying to fight. You will not win, but rather waste your time. So all this we're trying to say is uh, advice for a student of knowledge. It is very important when you're learning to always have these sort of ideas in mind. You will meet people. You will meet friends. You will meet uh, different type of people on your journey. Some will be, will be jealous of what you got. Some, they just want to make sure that they kept you busy so that you stop what is giving you the, uh, the, 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 how, the way you are succeeding. They don't like it. So they need to engage you in stupid things that will stop you from excelling. So you need to know such people and not to give them any attention. Imagine our life today. Things that are ahead of you or in front of you that are important. And someone brought something that will just come and waste your time and take you away from what will be beneficial for you. So those are the information that we got regarding this particular chapter of Ashafaka wa Nasiha, which is being compassion and also advising. And reality, in total, what we can say is a student of knowledge should always be ready to face difficulties and challenges and people that they will meet on the way. But no matter what, they should stick to what they're doing and those people who do not like them, they should not spend time to try to let them uh, like them or trying to prove to them that they can. Rather, they should spend more of their time trying to excel and get better in their knowledge. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. The shadow of Allah ilaha illa anta wa nastakbaru ka wa natubu ilayk. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun. Wa salamun ala al-mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin.